In Silicon Valley, you hear your fair share of ideas where you think, this is a stupid idea. And sometimes those people go on to make a ton of money. But occasionally you'll hear ideas that just could never feasibly work. And I think we'll talk about these a few times. One of the most common types of ideas that I hear about that just from a starting position could never work is a company that specializes in reselling another industry's goods. So let's take the, uh, you know, sex toy industry as an example. Because that's the context within which I heard this. And because sex toys are fun. <laughs> You, you, you resell sex toys and you become a company that resells sex toys, which means you're going to be earning uh, affiliate amounts on the toys that you're reselling, which are very rarely above 20%. Now, the reason a company like this can almost never be successful is because you're making a 20% upsell on this sort of uh, reselling thing. But then the companies that make the sex toys are making a 50 to 60% margin on these products, which means they've bid the ads associated with them to a level that assumes the 50 to 60% margin, you know, whether it be on Facebook or on Google or anything like that. And any sort of advantage you have as a reseller, other resellers have already captured in the case of companies like Amazon and other dedicated sex toy, you know, reselling websites. So I think whenever you, you come up with a business idea that's based on doing something like this, you need to think to yourself, can I do more than twice as good as the people who have been in this industry their entire lives? And if you don't have some idea that cuts the customer acquisition costs in half or more, then it's unlikely that any business in such a space could ever be a success.